Hi, I want to make a few comments about the dangerous consequences of the recent Israeli killing of Ismail Haniya, the political leader and negotiator of Hamas, who is in Iran. It means that there will be no imminent ceasefire. You kill one of the key negotiators, you kill the negotiations. It also means that the hostages will not be released anytime soon, something the Israeli population has been clamoring for. And it means the bombing, the starvation, the horrors that the people in Gaza are facing will continue. It also means a heightened conflict with Iran. This happened precisely at the time that Hania was there for the inauguration of the new president, Pazeskin, who, by the way, had campaigned on a platform of having better relations with the West. This is a tremendous embarrassment for, for Iran, and they have vowed to take revenge. Now, the last time they took revenge back in April, they did so in a way that was calculated not to lead to any Israeli deaths. Let's not count on it this time. It also comes at a time of heightened tensions with Lebanon, where the Israelis had just launched an attack all the way in Beirut that had killed one of the top military advisors to Nezrallah, to the head of Hezbollah. And Hezbollah has vowed to take revenge about that as well. And it comes just days after 14 different factions of the Palestinian groups had come together in Beijing in China to sign a declaration designed to bring more unity to the Palestinians. Hania was a key part of that, and Netanyahu obviously doesn't want to see that happen. So here we have a situation where thanks to the Israeli government, Israel is less secure, the region is less secure, and the United States is less secure. So I think it's an important time, a very dangerous time for us to put more pressure on our leaders in the United States to say, time to stop supporting this insane, genocidal Israeli government.